All right, let's see. I wonder if you could go into one of these rooms without the kids. Like if the game would let you do that. All right, that looks like a weak point in your mouth. What that kind of looks like. Don't you harm those eggs. Just let them go by boogity. Sorry to interrupt. Just had to see if I could help out. Are you gonna get egged or something? I feel like, or nommed. Grr? What? Oh, hey, flip here. Yeah, you. I'm just lie there and get me out of here. I remember the thing with Bowser's belly. Now he ate the fragments that we needed, right? Okay, if there's some gimmick with this boss, I gotta figure out faster than I did last time. It was not exactly fast before. Egg. Sunny side. Bowser Jr.'s mother confirmed. Here, let's try this and see what it's like on a regular controller. I'll be going back and forth across these buttons. So it'll be, the pattern will be like, oh, back and forth like this. Oh, I, I'm trying to just move my fingers across the buttons just for like the general pattern. I keep wanting to do a circle, but I can't. I have to go back and forth. What I have to do. Okay, let's try it. Whoops, I got my buttons mixed up. Let's try it again. Now I'm gonna have to go across that way. Okay, let's try it. Let's try to get this through my head. Should I be going after those eggs though? So this will hit everyone, I'm pretty sure, right? I can try out the ice flowers just because they're new here. Yeah, quickly press the button of the bro with a big ice ball to chuck ice. Okay. Okay, so like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let's try this. Press the button with the bro with the big fireball. Oh, it didn't switch yet. Okay. Let's see. I don't know how important getting the eggs is, but like. Let's see here. I'm not gonna get anywhere past a good, am I? Here, let's try this again. Ah! Something like that ish? Eggs are cracking. Whoa! Whoa! I thought I mistimed that. I'm really glad I didn't. Um, let's see here. Maybe I'll also try doing this. Give it a go. Okay. There we go. That did more damage than the shell did. So let's try that again. One more time! More damage. Now we're going around the other way. Still a circle in terms of the buttons that I have to press. Just great, not like an excellent or anything. I guess the zero is the whole drain attack thing. Ow. Yeah, I gotta jump like before he slaps it pretty much. But yeah, I don't think that taking out the eggs is that important then. What does it seem like? Let's see if I can get this green shell function through my head. Whoa. Dang it. Oh, 
of seven, huh? Let's try it again. Let's see here. Oh my goodness, I tried. There's Luigi getting his health back, nice. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. One more time. Ugh, I do think it is easier on a controller than my keyboard though. What I am feeling here. And is the impression I'm getting. Oh! Oh. Okay. Now Luigi's health is full. Pretty sweet. Bonk. Yeah, this is the prime learning opportunity for the green shell. I'm not talking that much during it though, because it takes a lot of my focus. <laughs> oh. But I am getting better at it. It does seem like. I think I'm better at the pattern with Luigi, where the button that I press in the middle is square rather than triangle. Like, I get kind of this low-down triangle formation where it's, like, long horizontally as opposed to long tall, where I'd have to do a triangle with Baby Mario. Like, this pattern just feels a little bit nicer for my thumb. I, or a bit more natural for me to go, but are you kidding me? Right as I say that, I spoke way too soon. Spoke extremely too soon there. But I'll still practice both here anyway. Kidding me? <laughs> oh, one damage. Amazing. Ow. Fine. Alright. How about we try this one now as well? Oh, that's the one that can hit everybody. Person release the button to kick falling eggs into the enemy. I was kind of struggling with this one at one point too, but let's try it. Dang it. <laughs> Again, I don't know how important it really is to do damage to the eggs anyway. I'm just gonna keep on practicing green shell. That's what I think I'm gonna do. Better hit the button early than late, I am realizing. I hit the wrong button there. Whoops. That's fine. As long as I'm actually doing damage to the boss and it's not one of those things where it's like, oh, this is just fake damage. You only do real, real damage when, uh, when the eggs are taken down. As long as it's not one of those kinds of situations. I should be good to just not bite the eggs, probably. Probably? I don't know. Let's see here. Do that. I swear I've seen that do like 20 damage before. Mm -hmm. Here, green shell again. Something like that. Perhaps the real damage was his tongue all along. It surely was. Why are you only going after Luigi? Like, it's not easy being green. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Your green shell again. Give it a go. Uh. But I am practicing here. Do it again. One more time. Oh, 
I can't even look at where the shell is going. I basically have to just look at the center of the screen and use side vision to generally tell where it's at, just so I get like a, a decent rhythm going. Basically what I do. Well, now the eggs are gone. I was thinking if it seemed like I wasn't progressing this, I might try taking out all the eggs, but we're at a point now where all the eggs are gone anyway. So like, I can see that it's not really gonna change much. Dang it, I'm so bad at video games. Like what gives? What is up with that? Dang it. Okay. Now Luigi's full health again. Yeah, I assume I'll just keep wailing on him. This stuff will happen here eventually. Here, green shell again. He's just my practice dummy. Dang it. I hit it a bit too early there. It is definitely still better to hit it early than late, but as long as it's not too, too early. Dang it, that was way too early. Yeah. I'm getting things figured out, though. like saving the last two. Just out of curiosity, how much damage does my normal jump do? Okay, not a massive ton. Seven I'm getting each time. This guy has a lot of health, it seems like. I mean, just because the with how that one worm boss went, maybe there's like some gimmick that I'm not realizing here. Like, Maybe he'll damage himself if he tries to smack a cracked egg. I don't know. What happens if I jump on them? Like, will something different specific happen? Because this feels like it's taking a while. Like, is there something I'm missing here? Yeah, that's something that I kind of wish for here, so I could tell whether I'm actually making progress or if there's something I'm missing here. Oh! Oh, what? Wait. There is something I'm missing here. It's not just cracking the eggs, it's breaking the eggs. And then the Yoshis will crush him. I mean, either way, this has turned into great green shell practice, so I can't exactly complain. I need to free so many Yoshis, and then they'll probably be the ones who do big damage to him or something. Maybe. I probably could have won this just by damaging him. It's not like his attacks are very hard to dodge. Yeah, we'll do this, I guess. I thought Cracked was like as far as they would get. Something or other, but... Guess not. They'll get farther. Okay. Yeah, do that. One more HP for Luigi. What? What? Ow. All right, that could have gone a whole lot worse. It's not too bad, actually. Whoops. You healing a level of your own HP is kind of annoying. That probably wasn't as bad as it could have otherwise been because Mario's the one with the absurd defense stat right now. So thank goodness you went after Mario there or else that would have easily been like half of Luigi's health. Oh, and then I can hit the weak point. What the heck? Yeah, that was obviously a weak point. Oh, I have to jump there, I guess. Um, okay. So then if we do like a bros attack like this. I gotcha. Thought it was strange how I couldn't hit the weak point outside of like the hammer when he's giving me the suck. Okay. Yeah, doing bigger damage now. Here, do this again. Okay, now we're making progress. I gotta just assume that there's always gonna be like some gimmick that I don't realize at first with each boss. No! 
I knew something like that was gonna happen, but I also wanted to commit the damage and not healing. I dropped the hammer a little early. All right, go ahead and use this, I think. And then Luigi, start doing damage and getting your health back. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to do that again. What we'll do, I think. Oh, you might just smack that one. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't jump on that. Oh, you're not gonna smack it. Nice. Super convenient for me. Go push the cookie thing. Pretty good push. Okay. I wonder if green shell will technically still count as hitting the weak point. Or not. Wonder. Let's just do this for now. What I think I'll do. How much health do I get back from doing five, huh? Two. So I guess it's like, and rounded down. That's what I assume it is. Gosh dang it! Yeah, that is like half a self. I was right. That it would do about that much. Okay. I should probably get the further back ones, actually. Because those are the less likely ones for him to smack and interrupt me in the middle of breaking them open. Okay. okay. Let's see here. So with all the practice that I've gotten of green shells, this, whoops, this battle. Maybe I can do some wicked green shell damage once it's flipped over. Maybe see here. More eggs. No. You shall not egg me. You shall not egg me on. How much health do they have? Like 30 or something? Just a little bit more than I can do in one fell swoop, annoyingly. I think we just need one more Yosh. Just the one more, I think. So, a little smidge of damage here. I guess I could have used like a single mushroom on Luigi. Actually, that probably would have been a better play there. Oh well. That's fine. Because he's not gonna get hit here anyway. No worries. It's only Mario that's gonna get hit. Or neither. Great. <laughs> Even better. Okay. Do this, and then I think we take a big pain chump cookie thing where Bob to the face. Oh, be nice if that did damage itself too. That's fine. Just dump with both of them. Is it not to? Ah! I thought I missed that because I pulled out the hammer too early. All right, let's try it. Not mess this up. Are you, oh, I'm so dumb. Like, I'm actually so bad at video games. I don't know what to tell you. What? Oh, because that's enough. We only knocked him down twice, because I did so much damage with my green shell practice over time before realizing there was a gimmick. Oh, well. That's fine. Hey, <laughs> a couple more green shells. Cool. All right. Level up. What do we want? That goes up by three. Ooh, four on power. Go by four on defense. Go by six on speed, but I don't think that's super important. Uh, bear with me here. <laughs> yes, excellent. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah. Oh. All right. What do I want? It's like three. One, two, three on power. I get four on defense. Six on speed, but speed's not super important. I think I'm gonna go for defense then in that case. Maybe this boss will see Luigi caught up properly. Dang it. Give me that rhythm. What the heck? There we go. <laughs> There we have it. 
Yahoo! Okay. So I can go up by five. Ooh, four on power. Five. I'm thinking power. I'm thinking power is the way to go. Let's get some more damage out there. I know what I'm thinking. All right, let's see here. Get up to five there, four here. Four on power is pretty good, so I'm gonna take that. I said I'm gonna take that. I missed it by one. There we go. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just gotta do what you gotta do. Whoa. Funny colors there. Why is there not like a full heal block right before this boss? That's so silly. Wow. Wow. Oh, yes. I bet if we go into this hole, we'll be free. I'm getting a phone call again. Is it that same number? No, it's from my, it's from my little cousin. Why is she phoning me? Hello? I'm streaming right now. Is this something you needed? <laughs> Where do you need to go? <laughs> Is your dad able to take you? <laughs> I mean, I am streaming a streaming right now. Is it, uh, how far is the store? Because, <laughs> I mean, like, if it's something important, I technically could, but... If it's not that, if it's not that important, then. <laughs> so where is it that you're trying to go? What? That's not remotely near that. Like, unless there's a different location that I'm not aware of, but I... <laughs> okay, I'm not familiar with that then. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean... <laughs> If you guys are able to get there otherwise, then great, but... <laughs> okay. Hi. My little cousin wants to go with her friends to a store that she didn't elaborate on what it was. She just said that it was near some Goodwill or near some McDonald's. And I, but I didn't get an answer on where they want to go. Apparently they can walk there, but it's, <laughs> but it's just a little bit of a distance and one of them needs to be home by like a certain time and her dad's working and can't take them. So she called me to ask if I could give her and her friends a ride to mystery store of whatever it is. I said, I mean, I technically could if it's really needed, but like, I don't know how important it is. Like, when it comes to looking out for my family, if there's something that's important, then yeah, I'll absolutely drop what I'm doing and uh, go and do that. But <laughs> take my little cousin and her friends to mystery store and with her specifically saying, oh, it's not super important. Then it's like, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And hello, hello, Mythic. How's it going today? 
<laughs> she said that she'd make a few other calls and then call me otherwise. I do technically need to take my truck on a bit of a test drive before I, uh, before I take it to a car show on Saturday. Make sure that it's working pretty reliably. I don't know if this is friends, like, plural, because I can only fit two passengers in that thing. There's, like, driver and then two passengers next to me because it's just one long bench. There's just the cab. There's no, like, back seats or anything like that. So if it was her and one friend, then it could also be an excuse to test drive my truck. But, like, <laughs> yeah. I see a stream that fits your schedule. Yeah, it, unless it ends up getting cut short because I end up being, like, the chauffeur. Which, uh, <laughs> you know. Um, well, we could spend a mystery amount of pocket change at Mystery Store, get a mystery ride from a stranger instead. <laughs> but yeah, very mysterious. I don't know where they want to go. What it is, yes, I bet if we go into this hole, we free the exit. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not the left stick, it's the D pad. I'll go and gather the rest of the eggs. You go ahead. Maybe I'll go save really quickly. Boobie bop. Yeah, Ammonia <laughs> Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Store. Yeah, I just put up like the BRB screen for a long time and then come back and be like, okay, so this is what the store was. Just to uh, just give the update there or something or other. <laughs> to the hole we go. We. We've got places to be. We did get shit out. Why is it like silent? Why does he look like he's in such pain? Live mystery store hall update. Oh uh, yeah, I'll just switch over to streaming on my phone and do like my first IRL stream. Mm. Well, we were able to perform a dashing escape, weren't we? An adventure-filled escape from a massive pink whore. Such pain there. I'm gonna fall now. That hulky monstrostroid isn't moving anymore, is it? I was surprised that the egg supplied that big hung grenade with its energy. Yes, indeed. We better hurry and get these eggs back to the village where they belong, Baboogity! Wow, it seems like they somehow know they all made it home! Come on, everyone! Yeah, <laughs> we finally have a truck stream. Yeah, that's right. I suggest I return to the village to see what's happening. Okay. Well, we're back in the village. Um, oh, I can go in the back of this. Let's save, because that seems important just about now. Was that the coin of 87? Just now looked at my coin count. Um, yeah, what do you fix that you want to test? Everything except the clutch. Like, ever since getting new spark plugs in there, it actually seems to be working really, really reliably. There was that one one specific time that it leaked since making the most recent fixes. And I don't know why it leaked, and it hasn't leaked since then, but I want to for sure make sure that's the case. But I also want to test out the clutch, because I feel like it's it was never great when I started driving it, but I feel like it's been getting worse and worse. I need to press the clutch all the way into the floor for it to engage at all. And even then, sometimes it feels like I have it like right close to the floor, and I still struggle to shift a little bit because it feels like it's not quite fully engaged sometimes. Some of that is also potential like corrosion built up because it was never easy to shift from the get-go. And it's been getting easier to shift as it goes on because I'm like breaking away corrosion that built up over decades. But it feels like it's going back to getting like harder to shift again. But I think that's just because the clutch isn't quite fully engaged. So I'm booked for an appointment September 30th to take it into a shop that's gonna like have a look at it and see if they can fix it. And if not, they'll give me like a parts list of stuff that I can pick up and try to source this winter. Um, oh, that's just an email, that's not a text. But there is a show that I want to bring it to this Saturday, which is a little bit of distance away. So I do gotta make sure that it's in working order before then. So yeah, this weekend Saturday is gonna be the show, and then September 30th I'll take it into the shop and try to get some stuff sorted out where I can. And I do have to spend a lot of fuel, that's part of the reason why I want to take it into the show, because last year, I wanted to get the fuel tank removed for the winter and then could get it steam cleaned over the winter, mount it back on in the spring, and then the fuel tank is like super clean because it has, like the fuel tank's been on there for 70 years. It probably has a whole bunch of crap built up in there. That'd be good to clean out. And that's what I wanted to do last year, 
but I filled it up for what I thought would be the last time of the year last year. And then immediately after that, the garage starts smelling like gas. And that's how I found out that the carburetor was cracked and leaking. And then it's like, okay, never mind. No more driving. We're storing it away for winter right now. And it had a full fuel tank. So yeah, not taking that off anymore. But now that it's actually in working order and I can drive it, I have three quarters of a tank. I need to spend that before winter. So I'm not putting any more gas in it this year. I got to spend that before, before winter hits. So I think I'm just going to go to and from the show on Saturday and to and from my appointment in, uh, it's right near where Fragapalooza is actually to get it serviced. And then after that, it'll be beginning of October. Then I'll just spend whatever fuel is left will be the case. I don't know how much fuel I'm going to have left, but we'll see. And I wouldn't mind having the truck in front of the, in front of the house with like a skeleton in the driver's seat for Halloween. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, <laughs> add some, uh, add some decor. But then, like, early November, get it put away and then try to have the tank, like, pretty close to empty by then. So I do got to use it a decent bit. I do have to, I do have to empty that tank one way or another. So it does have to be driven. But yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on there. Listen up, lizards. I'm the one who saved you. Me. 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 Yeah. Make with, so make with the gratitude and the goodies, too. Thanks a bunch, pal. Thank you. Thank you. This is not happening again. Let me just guess. You're here for the cookies? I'll scarf them all before I let you touch a single crumb. Like, so much greater than your body weight. <laughs> oh, there's our things. There's our Jedi Wayfinders or whatever the hell. Look, magic. He's amazing. Oh, no wonder. I forgot I'd eaten those. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh! I can just stab him or something. Wow, awesome. Our hero can fly. You're the best. Dragon clutches are fun clutches because you drive like a buffoon. <laughs> Knowing you need to replace it anyway, so why not? Yeah. <laughs> so it has made driving a little bit more difficult lately. But for the most part, it's actually working great lately. For the love of luggage, those cobalt star shards hold a pugilistical power. There's no record of this in my databanks. I believe we've made an important discovery. I would wager that Tobert's drawing contains some special secret as well. Let's return to our own time and confer with the professor. Back to adventure. Listen up, Yoshis. These guys here saved you, not that little piggy. He was in an egg the whole time by Boobity. Seriously? Yep, I saw it all. Every bit of it. It's going right in the cringe album. These guys rock. Oh, wow. Thanks, you guys. Seriously. Waha! Wonder how many Mario games that sound effect has been in. Yashi! Now that I have Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on the mind again, I was fully expecting to see like a new chapter title card come up for a hot second there. All right, so world two cleared.